All right, let's practice other questions. If you have something like this, let's say H, C, H. H, C, H, H. Then you have C, H, H, and then N, O, 2. How do you use HNMRO to predict this? First of all, you rule a straight line under here. All right, which is here will be zero for TMS. And then you look at, let's number the other this that we have here. So I'm going to number this as A, yes, B, yes, C. Now, none of the protons are chemically equivalent because they are different protons entirely. All right. Now, if you look at A very well, what is the neighboring atom to A? You agree with me that the neighboring atom is this one. The neighboring group is this one. And they have how many protons? Two protons. So, those two protons, you are going to add one to it, making it three. So, A will be a triplet. So, what you are going to have, and at what position are you going to have? Of course, it's CH3 group, right? CH3 is around 0 0.9. So, let me have it here, 0 0.9. A is three protons. Um, You are going to have something like this because it's due to this. So, it's going to be very high. And then you have is going is due to three protons the number of protons actually most time determine the height how long how intense the signal will be all right so we have that now the next one is ch2 right which is b ch2 is around 1.3 so of course we are going to have it around this position here 1.3 now how many protons are the neighboring protons we have this group here we have this group here as neighbors to B. This group here has three group. This group here has three, I mean two group. Three plus two, making it how many? Five. Five plus one is six, which makes it a sestet. Now, a sestet rather. Now, for sestet, look at it. You don't need to memorize. Anyone with even number, two peak will always be of the same height. Anyone with even number like six, two peaks will always be of the same height and then two other peaks would be of equal height and then two other peaks would be of what equal height so you call this a sestiate now the last one of uh, first of all let's just indicate of course this is a this is b now this one is due to how many is due to a ch3 proton so you put integral 3h you can decide to put it at the back this one is integral what 2h because it's due to what a ch2 proton now the next one is this one here this group you can see here to this side it has no proton why to this side it has two protons the two protons according to what the n plus one rule two plus one will be how many three so it's going to be a what a triplet now at what position to be a little bit towards the side why normally ch2 have their values at around 1.3 but because of its proximity to the nitrogen group which de shields it you know i've explained what de shielding is when de shielding occur there will be what increase in what in the chemical shift value so which de shields it and because a triplet odd number now for odd number one of the peak will be very high. I mean, one of the peak would be high. They will be at almost the same height with this one because they are CH2, CH2. So their height will always be the same. So you are going to have something like this. Are you getting it? And then you are going to have two others surrounding it, making it a triplet. So for odd number, you usually have one peak higher than all the peaks. Why for even number? You have two peaks higher than all the peaks is that okay so that is that now that is the value for this particular one you have here so what we are going to have is um is due to two protons so you have two h which is of course c so this is the 
correct NMRO structure for this compound. All right, let's see other compounds briefly as we explore more. You have Cl, then you have C, H, here is Cl, then you have C, H, here is B arrow, here is B arrow. Now, the first thing we have to do is to draw uh, this thing like this, a uh, straight line. And then after that, we are going to have the zero point. The chemical sheet value will be towards this side. Why? Because you have B arrow, B arrow, highly electronegative. So you'll be expecting it at around 3.5. But because there are two B arrow here, you'll be expecting it higher than 3.5, around 5 point something. All right? Now, you don't need to give the exact value in the exam. I know this is our fear. You just need to uh, estimate. You know normally you could know these values in your head. 3.5. Okay? But because you have two, this one here, just add 1.5 to it. Let this one be around 5. Now, these two, are they in the same chemical environment? No. Because this is bromine with hydrogen. This is chlorine with hydrogen. Are you getting it? They are in different chemical environment, the two protons. Are you getting it now? So that at the end of the day, what we are going to have, the first one you have here, which is, let me name this as uh, A, and here is what? B. Now, the first one you are going to have is this proton here, which is carbon, this first carbon here. The neighbor has one proton attached to it. By n plus 1 rule to be 1 plus 1, which is equals to what? 2. Now, for 2, I told you that this would be 5.0. 2 is a doublet. So, you are going to have 2 equal height. Alright? 2 equal height. Now, for the other one, is uh, chlorine. That of chlorine. The neighboring carbon 2 have one proton, which is also 1 plus 1, which is a doublet. Now, each of them are due to one one proton. So the height, chlorine is more electronegative than bromine. So you should expect that of chlorine to be somewhere around 5.5. Are you getting it? Because it's highly electronegative as compared to bromine. The more electronegative it is, the more it's shifting downfield. This side is downfield. Here is what? Upfield. Now, because they are due to one one proton, their height will be what? The same. So you are going to have this one here the height of this all right will be the same as the height of this why because you are due to one one proton each all right so the height of this will be the same with the height of this as you can see so that is that now let's see another case sharply where you have this bromine one of the bromine here substituted with hydrogen now in this case now it means our uh, a which is this compound a the neighboring atom still have one proton the neighboring carbon still have one proton so it's still going to show as a doublet which is what you can see here due to hydrogen here which is a it's still going to show as a doublet and the chemical shift value will decrease a little because one of the bromine has been removed. So it will be around, let's say, 4.0 or even though 3.5. It cannot be 3.5 because this carbon you also carry chlorine. Let's put it at 4.0. Now, but when you now come here, listen to, to uh, when you now want to draw for that of B, the next neighbor for B. has two protons now because when you are considering this one you now look at this one to know the multiplicity the next neighbor for b carry two protons and by right two plus one will give us what three which is a triplet now for triplet what did i tell you triplet is odd so you are going to see one of this signal that is higher than every other one for odd number you see one signal higher for even number you see two signals higher than every other one but of equal height so for this odd number and because it is due to uh for that of b it's actually due to uh one proton are you getting it is due to one proton so you are going to have 
something like this all right due to one proton you are going to have something like this and of course you are going to have it's a triplet so you are going to have something like this so this is due to one proton now you see that the height of this is a little bit lower than the height of this one so this is going to give us the multiplicity will be something like this how many protons actually cost this one okay no this one is caused by two proton so this one is caused by two proton which is two h why this one is caused by one proton which is one h because you're actually drawing for this proton b which is that so that's basically how to go about something like that is that okay now how about the situation where these two group here you remove them and substitute them with hydrogens so here is hydrogen here is hydrogen what do you think the signals will be how many signals are you going to see first of course you are going to see two signals all right you are going to see two signals of course at what position will they be now if you look at that of a that of a will still maintain around um 3.5 4.0 so let's put it around 3.5 but that of b that of b will be around 1.0.9 are you hearing it but because of its uh, proximity to this uh, b arrow here we said b arrow we shift the chemical we actually shift it so we are going to have around we, we are going to have it around let's put it let's not follow the material you are going to have it at around 1.5 so that you know that in the exam you can actually guess where it will be so at this point in time let's draw for that of a what is the neighboring atom for a it's actually two protons are you getting it two what protons that is neighboring atom is that okay two protons now because it's actually two protons what are you expected All right, you are going to have two protons now as neighboring two plus one will give us what three so we are expected to have a triplet which of course we go very high because it's due to these three hydrogens so you are going to have a triplet is something like this and then this one is for b right this one we just drew now is for b in this case now so we say this is b now it's due to three protons so you are going to have it as three h now how about that of a which is this how many this thing are adjacent to it you have four i mean three protons adjacent to it so by right it will be three plus one making it what four so it's going to be a quartet and the quartet will be around 3.5 do you know why because this group here is directly attached to what to bromine so we should be expecting a shift to around 3.5 so you are going to have something like this and because it's two protons you don't expect it two protons like this you don't expect the peak to be as tall as this one and for quartets i say for even number two peak will be two lines will be of the same height and then other two will be of the same height so you don't need to draw pascal triangle just remember that for quartet for even number depending on the number for every even number two lines are always of the same height so if it is quartet first two line will be of the same height second two line will be of the same height if it is an odd number like triplet one of the line will be longer while the other ones will just follow suit like that is that okay so that is basically that for this all right let's see for esters 